Lower leg release with double track rollers. Feel the fibers along the inner part of your shin bone from your ankle up to your knee. Then feel the fibers on the outer part, from the outer part of your ankle to the outer part of your knee. We'll focus on these two regions. As with all soma system techniques, try to find a comfortable edge in your upcoming lower leg release. Let your breath remain steady and keep your muscles relatively loose and relaxed. Remember that working with just one double track roller tends to be more intense than distributing your weight across two or even three. Inner shin release. Sit with your knees bent and feet flat in front of you. Let your knees drop over towards the left. Slide a double track roller underneath the inner aspect of your right lower leg just above the ankle. You may find it useful to raise the roller on a platform such as a yoga block or foam support. The balls will lie on either side of the inner aspect of your shin bone. Incrementally roll up and down the lower half of your inner shin while maintaining steady pressure into the ball. To increase the pressure, you can place your hand on the same side onto your leg and lean into the balls. If you come across an area that is tight or tender, pause and circle your foot clockwise a couple times and then counterclockwise a couple times. Then reposition the roller at the middle of your inner shin and repeat the rolling for the upper half. Try to pause and circle your foot if you come across another tender spot. Next, we will shift to the outer shin release. Return again to a seated position with your knees bent and feet flat. Let your knees drop over to the right this time and slide the double track roller underneath the outer aspect of your right lower leg, just below your knee joint. The two balls of the roller should fall on either side of your fibula or outer lower leg bone. Slowly roll up and down the top half of your outer shin, maintaining steady pressure into the ball. To increase pressure, you can place your opposite hand on your leg and lean your body forward. Just as you did with the inner aspect, pause here if you find an area that is particularly sensitive. Inhale and flex your foot, and then exhale and relax it. Repeat this a couple times. You can then reposition the roller at the middle of your outer shin and repeat the rolling for the lower half of the outer shin. Again, feel free to pause and then point or flex your foot if you come across more tender areas. Let the tool draw your attention to your body-centered practice. You may also experiment performing this lying on your right side with your head supported on a foam support or pillow. The double track roller will lie under your bottom leg towards the outside of the lower leg. To increase the pressure in this position, simply place the other leg on top of the target leg. Now let's move to the left side with the inner shin release. Sit with your knees bent and feet flat in front of you. Let your knees drop over towards the right. Slide a double track roller underneath the inner aspect of the left lower leg just above the ankle. The balls will lie on either side of the inner aspect of your shin bone. You may find it useful to raise the roller on a platform such as a yoga block. Slowly roll up and down the lower half of your inner shin while maintaining steady pressure into the ball. 
Remember that you can also perform this technique lying on your right side with the double track roller raised on a yoga block or foam support. To increase the pressure, place your same side hand on your leg and lean into the balls. If you come across a tight or tender area, pause and circle your foot clockwise a couple times and then counterclockwise a couple times. Then reposition the roller in the middle of your inner shin and repeat the rolling for the upper half. Once again, try to pause and circle your foot if you come across another tender spot. Next we'll progress to the outer shin release. Return again to a seated position with your knees bent and feet flat. Let your knees drop over towards the left and slide the double track roller underneath the outer aspect of your lower left leg, just below your knee joint. The two sides of the roller should fall on either side of your fibula or outer leg bone. Slowly roll up and down the top half of your outer shin, maintaining steady pressure into the balls. To increase pressure, place your opposite hand on your leg and lean your body forward. Just as you did with the inner aspect, you can pause here if you find an area that is particularly sensitive. Inhale and flex your foot and then exhale and relax it. Repeat this a couple times. You can then reposition the ball towards the middle of your outer shin and repeat the rolling for the lower half of the outer shin. Again, feel free to pause and then point and flex your foot if you come across more tender areas. Remember that you can also perform this technique lying down on your left side. Posterior shin release or calf release. For this one, you'll need a chair. Place the double track roller on the seat of the chair near the edge, and then lie back and drape your legs across the seat so that your right lower leg, just below the knee, rests on the double track roller. Incrementally roll the tool along the length of the calf, starting near the knee and working your way down towards the ankle. To increase pressure, Try crossing your left leg over your right. If you find a tender spot, you can hold and point and flex your foot. When you are ready, repeat this release on your left side. You can also experiment performing this release by raising the double track rollers on yoga blocks instead of a chair if one is not available.